Hello, 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 viewers. Welcome back to another episode of Campus Vibes on Geki TV. And the interviews are getting very interesting. Today is the graduation day for Catholic University, and we have the whole place just noisy. The whole place is that it's just filled with almost all the happy moments you can find in every graduation that uh, ceremony that you see. And today we want to just make a simple interview with all the graduate, uh, not all of them. I mean, what I mean is we are just going to make a short interview with some of the graduating students on some of their best moments on campus and some of their worst moments on campus, and then probably advice that they will give to those of you who are here to come to the university. So guys, stay tuned as I interview some of the best students of Catholic Invest. Okay guys, so I got one nice and handsome gentleman. <laughs> the, the dress or not, it itself just kills me. <laughs> Please your name. Oh, my name is Adegute Shalom. Wow, that's a nice name, bro. And congratulations. Thank for you very much. Thank you very much. I, I can see that just uh, ev everything just I'm, I'm really happy, guys. I'm really happy for uh, just waiting to see the day we also graduate. Oh, you yeah. know, graduate. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> so, how do you see the overall uh, overview of the, the graduation? Uh, it's been great. It's been great. Uh, wonderful experience. You get to know it until you do it. Okay. When you are not yet doing it, you don't know how it feels. But the day you do it, you, you feel how it feels. Wow. Yesterday, wow. when I was about sleeping, I was, I was like... Wait, though, this is not somebody else's graduation. This is my graduation. Though. It's not like I'm going to go and watch somebody else. People are going to be watching me. E. So I was that feeling, that joy, okay. until you actually graduate, you feel that joy. Wow, wow, wow. So as I said, congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. You graduated with first class. Yes. Good. So what are some of the challenges that you face when you're on com uh, in, in the university campus? Um, first of all, the first challenge I faced was financial challenge. I had this financial challenge when I was in 200 first semester and that was my worst semester and that's the only semester I actually had second class proper. The rest was first class. This semester for me didn't give me the time to prepare well because I was trying to solve my financial issues. So because of that, I also had issues understanding some concepts which I'm just being brought into, which I don't really get. And if you, if you, if you trace it, 200 first semester is always the semester that brings students down. Look at all sets. 200 first semester is always bringing students down. And why? The reason is because that's where you get to, to be introduced to the core aspect of ICST. That's the first introduction to the core aspect. So the core aspect is in itself. If you don't get the foundation, you will struggle. And to get the foundation takes time. It will take you a, bit, a little bit of time because you have to understand it before you can produce, before you can give back what they have given to you. So understanding it will take you time. Okay, so finally, what advice do you want to give to those who want to either come to Catholic University or to come to the university in general, to come and offer either computer science or any other course? Okay, um, what advice I would give everyone is, first of all, you don't know everything. That is one thing I want everyone to understand. You don't know everything. And I always say this to myself personally. With everything I know, I know nothing. And the reason is because there are different types of people. People who learn fast, people who take their time to learn, and people who are good with practicals. If you learn fast, doesn't mean that someone who takes his time to learn, you can't learn from the person. You can learn from your lecturers. Your lecturers are always there. You go and meet them one or more personally to explain things to you. You can learn from your friends. You know the way your friends are. You know those who are sharp in your class. You know those who are not so sharp. So you can learn from your friends. You can learn from various resources. YouTube, that, YouTube is there. Google is there. You can learn from various sources, not just from yourself. So no one is an island of knowledge. You have to actually tap in from other people for you to be able to know. Wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Shalom, for having the interview with us. You're and once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay. Guys, I got another graduate uh, in the master's level uh, in Catholic University here. And I want to just have a short talk with the person. So, please, your name? My name is Timothy Damilola Ayi. Wow. So, Master Timothy, how does it feel after graduating? Uh, at least you spent your first degree, this is your second degree. How does it feel? In fact, um, it's a memorable experience knowing that um, I got my first degree in this same university and now I'm getting my second degree in the same university as well. So I really feel so happy and I give all thanks and glory be to God. Wow. Congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Good. So I want to find out first that what are some of the 
best moment or if i'm to ask you one best moment you had on campus what will it be that when you are to somebody's to ask you whether it could be on fun entertainment sports relationship anything that you you still remember about Catholic university or as you were here um actually my best moment is um spending time with the students actually like those in the hostel you know sometimes they said um you don't just come to the university for academics you also come for connections and network and i think my best moment ever is connecting with the student moving around with them having some time with them and then do playing with them and doing a whole, whole lot of things with them in fact i really have this moment and i think if i will leave this four walls of this university one day this is what i will actually miss wow 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 so uh, coming to think of it every success comes with a lot of challenges uh, what are some of the things that you faced at least one that you you could recollect that you you faced whilst you were here um actually um Calic university is known for their academic excellence which is very nice and very true um and out of that um we don't have any perfect school and yet one of my challenges is i won't even see it as a challenge but more or less i'll call it as a challenge but at the same time it's also a strength um you say when lecturers will give you those moments where they won't come for class but they will give you some areas to go and learn and then you are on your own you are learning you don't get the understanding and you are like god what is this you see like things like that and then you like god i'm learning on my own over whatever i'm understanding let it be so so those are the challenging moments and you see you go and write your exam and you notice that actually what you have learned has really helped you because nobody is there to teach you but you yourself learned it so that's what i'm saying Although it's a challenge, but at the end of the day, it's more or less like a strength. And I think it's, it's, it's something that I really appreciate also when coming to this school. Wow. So finally, is there any advice you want to give to those who are in the university, those who are about to come? You know, my viewers, everywhere in Ghana, everybody's watching. What do you think are some of the advice you can give to somebody who wants to come to the university? Um, I wouldn't say much on this actually, but... Um, for those who want to come, let me start from there. I will say, please, yeah, you see, as I said earlier, no university is perfect. Maybe you might have heard from people who have graduated here that Calic University is this, Calic University is that. But I always believe in one thing. Come and experience it yourself. You see, don't listen to what people say, but come and be part of what it actually is. So for those who would like to come to Calic University, I will say it is the best place to be. The best place to be in terms of academics, in terms of socialization, in terms of connect connection, connecting with people and even having good relationship with the lecturers, you will like it. And for all the students who are already here and trying to continue to get a good grade, I will advise that um, they should, you know, learn other. You see, they say hard work pays. Uh, no matter what, one day, one day. You see, they said uh, 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 a thousand miles starts with a single journey. So no matter how long it will take, yet after your four years it will be joy so they should just keep it on and wow. learn hard and then god wow. being so good everything will be fine thank you very much master and uh, i will say once again congratulations thank you so much and thanks for having the interview with us thank you too i can be dating all right and still be very very good with myself Thank you.